Hello, Lansing School District, girls and boys. Give me a fist bump, how you doing? This is Mr. Dyer. Just here to tell you that Mr. Murley and Mr. Frisbee and myself, we have put together a virtual field day for you to participate in. We're each going to show you a few activities that you can do and hopefully you'll enjoy them and you challenge yourself, make them harder than what we show you if you need to. Um, but the most important thing is get outside, have some fun, and uh, be safe. Hello everybody, this is Mr. Murley here. I'm about to show you a virtual field day event. This first event is called the Quick Change. A couple things you'll need. Just random pieces of article of clothing that I have in here, pants, scarf, and a shirt. Also, you might want to use Dixie cups or Solo cups as cones or as markers. You can also use some plates. In this activity of this event, you're going to run down to the articles of their clothing that are down at the other end. See how quick and fast you can change into them and run back. There's two ways you can do this. You can actually compete against another person or you can do it for time against yourself. If you have very limited clothes you want to use, you just have one set that's down there. So on this first one we're going to do, I'm going to have my son's going to come in and we're going to demonstrate. So what we're going to do, we're going to run down, put an, on all the articles or clothing that are there. After everything is on, we run back to the two cones that are here. First person to get back to here wins. Here we go. Remember in all this, it's all about fun. Set, go. Spoon relay. You will need a spoon and some type of an object to balance on your spoon. Okay, spoon relay. You need some type of a spoon. Wooden spoon, larger spoon, maybe even a teaspoon, depending on your uh, liking. And you need some type of an object, um, maybe a ping pong ball, maybe a plastic egg maybe a tennis ball, uh, maybe a piece of paper wadded up in a ball, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna race down around the sweatshirt and back. First one back is the winner. I have my son with me here helping Hayden. So, here we go. All right, I have my spoon and I have my wadded up paper. Hayden has his spoon and he's using a tennis ball. Now, if you drop your object, you need to stop and do three jumping jacks before you can continue. Here we go, and go. Ah, oh, nice job. Got this big virtual field day coming up. Mr. Dyer and Mr. Murley have such good games. I just can't think of anything. Hey, there's my game. Boys and girls, virtual field day challenge. You need a cup. You need a pencil. Careful with the pointy end. Uh, you might want to use a non-sharpened pencil for safety. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the eraser and bounce it off the table or a hard surface. 
and then try to land it into the cup. Uh, see how many times you can do it in one minute and just keep on keeping on and give it your best shot. How many can you get in one minute? Okay, the next event will be laundry jump. What you're gonna need is some laundry. Check with parents to see if you can use them and some type of an object as your starting point. Have fun. Okay, so we have some laundry and I'm gonna use a water bottle as my marker. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, you're just going to run, jump at the water bottle and clear the laundry. Nice job. Now, back your bottle up and try to go farther. Ooh. Nice job. Have competitions, see who can go the farthest. And if you're doing it by yourself, try to go farther each time. Have fun. Hello everybody, this is Mr. Murley. About to show you a virtual field day event. And this event is called the horse race. A couple pieces of equipment that you could use. One, you wanna have some cups to give a starting point and an ending point we're actually kind of going around and using. I have two different color cups that I will be using. Okay? The other thing we will be using, we'll be using a pool noodle. So the pool noodle right in here, if you don't have one of those, you can use different things such as just your random stick. In this race right in here, you will take the pool noodle, put it between your legs, hold the end of it and the other end down here. Then you're going to gallop all the way to the other end Go around one of the cups and gallop straight back. Remember a gallop. A gallop is your back foot does not pass your front foot. Also during when you're doing this race, you can either time yourself to see how fast you can do it, or you can actually race against somebody. I will be racing against somebody and I'll be racing against my son. So once again, pool noodle goes between your legs, hold the end of it and the back of it. One foot in front, the other foot in back. You're going straight down, around that cup, and straight back. Once again, it's all about fun. Set, go. Now we're going to show you the race again, still galloping, but now we're going to use the sticks. When you have the sticks, you're going to hold it out in front of you like my son is doing. Whatever hand you hold it in, put that same foot forward. On this race though, we're going to go in a zigzag pattern, which means we're going to go over to our right first, then a left, then around the last cup, and when you go around the last cup, you run, come straight back. Once again, stick out in front, back foot doesn't pass your front foot, that's your gallop. Ready, set, go. Okay, the next event, bocce ball. You're going to need two pairs of socks, different colors, and you're gonna need some type of an object as your target in the game of bocce ball, that's called the Plano. So you're gonna need some other object as your target. We are going to use a shoe and our socks. Okay, so we have two pairs of socks, black ones, which I will use, white ones, which Hayden will use. And we have a shoe as our Plano. So whoever starts is gonna to toss the shoe out. All right. And now we are gonna take turns, underhand toss, opposite foot forward, our socks to see who can get closest to the shoe. Go ahead, Hayden.
Okay, let's go check. Okay, down here it looks like white is closer. So Hayden gets the point. So that means this time he gets to throw the shoe for the next round. Have fun. Hello everybody, this is uh, Mr. Murley. I'm about to show you a virtual field day event. This is going to be your classic sack race. Two different types of sacks you can use at home. You can use a pillowcase or you can just use a garbage bag. You'll be getting inside and your feet will be inside and right in here and you must hop. And there's two ways you can do it. You can hop all the way down to the cup down at the other end and then hop back. Okay. We have our cups that we have here. You can see right in here we have these red cups and a blue cup that's over there for our starting point. And for down at the other end, we have a blue and red cup to go to. On this race, though, we're going to start down there and just jump all the way to this end here. If you choose, you can start, jump all the way to a point, and then hop all the way back. I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty lucky in my suit, and I'm going to need a lot of luck today because I'm going to be racing against the Energizer Bunny. Remember, once again, boys and girls, we're here to have some fun. Here we go. Hey boys and girls, Mr. Frisbee here. Just hanging out at the park today on a nice walk, enjoying the weather. I hope you guys are getting out as much as possible during this time. What in the world? Look, you guys gotta see this. Check this out. Boys and girls, I don't know if you just witnessed what I witnessed, but there was a moose on the loose playing at the park. I caught up with that moose and asked him the rules of his game. He said it's really simple. You need some sort of a target and you need some sort of an object to throw into the target. He borrowed Miss Moose's mop bucket and Baby Moose's socks. Rules of the game are simple and this is how it goes. You take your target, you set it out at a distance that is challenging to you. You can overhand throw or you can underhand throw into the target. Underhand or overhand. If you make it, then good job. See how many times you can make it in one minute. If you miss, Moose did tell me this. You have to moose crawl up to the bucket, around the bucket, and back and try again. See how many times you can make it in one minute or challenge a friend. Remember to always have fun. Hey, Mr. Dyer has some good games. Mr. Murley has some good games. I totally nailed it on my games. If we could just think of one more game or activity for our kids, we'll have the best virtual field day ever. Can you flip your water bottle, land it so it stands? Flip it, land it so it stands. You have one minute. See if you can do it. Ready, go. Hey boys and girls, just want to wrap up our virtual field day. I uh, hope you guys had a fun time. We had a fun time making it for you. Uh, Mr. Dyer, Mr. Murley, and myself, we all miss you guys, we care about you, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Hope you are healthy and well. Hope your families are healthy and well. When it's nice outside like this, a beautiful day, get outside and play. 
You guys need to be outside playing and enjoying this weather. Your academics are important. Try to learn something new every day. Challenge yourself academically and physically before we get back to school in the fall. Look forward to seeing you all soon.